Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we are doing another luxury haul. I am partnering with Idol to bring you guys this video. If you're unfamiliar with Idol, they offer an accessible price for fine jewelry. All of their jewelry pieces are made of sustainable lab-grown diamonds and 14 karat solid gold, so all of their pieces are high quality, you can wear them for years. I'm not personally someone who enjoys removing jewelry prior to taking a shower, you could forget, and it just becomes a hassle. So I enjoy investing in high quality jewelry pieces, you can wear 24-7 and they still maintain their luster. All of Idol's jewelry pieces have a versatile aspect to them, so these are the ones that I have and it's actually one pair of earrings that can be worn as two earrings. I have the petite diamond studs and the Uma add-ons. So I can wear the petite studs alone for a more simple look or I can add the Uma add-ons for a more unique earring look. I also have one 14 karat solid gold chain necklace and two pendant add-ons. So I have the Jane add-on, which is the one I am currently wearing. And then I have the initial diamond duo add-on. With the initial diamond duo add-on, it comes with the solid gold initial and the solo diamond. So you could wear these together or you could wear the solo diamond separately. So you can really achieve three necklaces with the same chain and two add-ons. And the gold chain has three different lengths. I personally prefer the shortest length. So I'm wearing it with the Jane add-on at the shortest length. So this is really just personal preference. It does have two other length options if you preferred your necklace to be a little bit longer. I love the modularity and the versatile aspect of all of Idol's jewelry pieces. You can wear the stud earrings alone or you can wear them with the add-ons and they have a variety of different add-on options. So you only need to purchase these studs once and then you can create different earring looks with the different add-ons. And the same applies to the necklaces. So you only buy the chain once and then you can create different necklace looks with the different add-on pendants. While this video is sponsored, you guys know I only work with brands I believe in and have purchased from or would purchase from myself. I genuinely love these jewelry pieces and the modularity, versatile aspect of the brand. I was really wowed when I received them in the mail and you will see me wearing these jewelry pieces in my upcoming videos and almost 24 seven, I absolutely love them. I think having high quality jewelry pieces really ties an entire outfit or look together. You can have high quality clothes and shoes and without those high quality jewelry pieces, there's always something kind of lacking in an outfit. So I highly recommend you guys either broaden your existing fine jewelry collection or if you do not own any fine jewelry, I highly recommend that you guys start your first investments with pieces from Idol. And all of their products come with a certificate of authenticity as well as a two year warranty. And again, I'm wearing the petite studs with the Uma add-ons and the Jane add-on pendant for the necklace. And the other one that I have again is the initial diamond duo. So with the pieces that I have, I can create three or really four if you wear the chain alone necklaces and two different earring looks. Next are Chanel loafers. I believe these are just called loafers. That's the name of them on Chanel's website. So they come in the typical Chanel dust bag and they are made of lambskin and metal. So I've been trying to broaden my loafer collection recently and of course I needed a Chanel pair. So these are them. So they have this quilted look and then the metal part of the shoe is this little heart with the CC in the center of the heart. And they do have this short heel. It is a two inch heel, but they're fairly easy to walk in. So these are lambskin similarly to the Chanel heels I have. And I have noticed with lambskin shoes, they are quite more comfortable, hence me wearing those heels almost every single day when I lived in LA. And similarly to the heels, these loafers are also made of lambskin. So while lambskin provides a lot more comfort than the typical shoe, the shoes that I have that are lambskin are some of my most comfortable shoes. Uh, they do wear and tear a little bit more easily, especially if you're wearing them every single day like I was with the Chanel heels. I also have a pair of sneakers that are lambskin that I wore literally every day for like two years. I still have them. They're just quite worn. They have a lot of wear and tear on them. That's kind of what I want to avoid with these loafers. I want them to kind of maintain their new condition. So I do plan to wear these not as often just to things like lunch or dinner, things that are less eventful, less walking types of occasions. So I absolutely adore these. If you were thinking of purchasing these, they run about a half size large. So I do recommend sizing about a half size down. Last thing from Chanel are the scented bath tablets. So I believe these are sold out currently. I purchased these a little while ago. What really drew me into them is the fact that they are individually wrapped. I haven't even looked at them in person yet. Um, so these are them. And I love how it has the Chance Chanel in the front. And they're just individual, they just look very adorable. So I love these. these are and I've yet to try these, but they are supposed to have a sort of fruity floral scent. So hopefully they restock. I'll link them down below. Um, I'm assuming since they still have them on their website, I had checked. 
that they will be restocking, but I don't know that for sure. So that's that. Next are some boots from Prada. These are their triangle logo ankle boots. So these are the boots and then they come in these individual Prada dust bags, similarly to the Chanel loafers. I have not worn these out and about yet, but they feel very comfortable, especially with this shirling trim. So the exterior material is nylon and then it has this shirling trim, which is really nice for when you're walking. So as it pushes up on your ankles as you're walking, you are feeling the shirling as opposed to a hard material that could lead to discomfort. And then I also really like how it has a zipper. So once you adjust the laces to your size and preference, you have the zipper to just easily be able to put them on and take them off. And they have a good amount of traction on the bottom as well. So I do plan to wear these every day. I have noticed with shoes that are like nylon or anything really besides like leather, they tend to not show wear and tear as easily as like the lambskin leather loafers or shoes like that. So I do plan to wear these every day. I don't think that they'll show the wear and tear as much and they are very comfortable. So here's both of them and I also like how it has a good amount of traction on the sole of the shoe. So if you were thinking of purchasing this and you plan to do a lot of walking or walking on maybe like a, a cobblestone or something like that, I feel like this sole of the shoe would be great for those sort of activities and it seems very durable as well. So I highly recommend these if you're looking for just like a comfortable pair of boots. Last thing from Prada are these men's leather penny loafers. So I purchased these for my dad for Christmas and by the time this video is live, Christmas will be over anyways. He doesn't even watch any of my social media content so it doesn't matter regardless of if I posted this prior to Christmas, but these are one of his Christmas gifts. And I actually had ordered my mom a pair of matching Prada loafers so they could be matching um, for Christmas as well, one of her gifts, but they ended up selling over the amount they had in inventory. So I was really upset at first, but I ended up ordering her better gifts. They just haven't arrived yet. So I'll haul those in one of my upcoming hauls after this. Um, so these ones are my dad's and they come with, I haven't opened them yet. So I'm looking at them for the first time with you guys. So they come with these little individual velvet. Why are they giving the men's section better dust bags? I like these ones more. These are like a very nice velvet, like navy blue. I don't have my glasses on, they could be black, but it's a very nice velvet material. So these are them, they're just plain black loafers. This is my first time seeing them as well. Um, I like how it has like a rubber sole, it seems like, so it looks like it would be good traction. So he wears loafers a lot, 24 seven, and he goes to a lot of like upscale business trips and events. So I thought these would be really nice for him to wear to those. And here's both of them. So my dad's just not someone who enjoys shopping for himself. When he's shopping, it's usually for my mom or myself. So I just thought it would be nice to, I like to kind of give back and give them nice gifts since they get me nice gifts. So I like to reciprocate that for Christmas, birthdays, etc. Um, and he's just not someone that likes to take time to shop for himself. He's very selfless. So I thought these would be very nice to give him as one of his gifts. And I got him a few other things too, like um, Brunello Cuccinelli, uh, Roberto Cavalli, and some other brands I can't recall. They're all hidden in a cabinet at the moment, but these were like kind of the more interesting uh, gift to share in a haul. Um, and again, these are the men's section, obviously, but if you guys had like a grandpa, dad, boyfriend, husband, or something that you're looking to shop for, if they have a birthday or something coming up, I do recommend Prada loafers um, or Prada sneakers if it's someone younger. My dad just prefers loafers because he's obviously older than me. And then the bottom has the Prada that just goes right here. So I like how it's just kind of a little discreet. And then it has black on black for the Prada logo here. My dad's not really into logos, neither am I. I say that while I know I certainly have some logo pieces in my wardrobe and collection, um, but it kind of depends. If it's like Chanel logo, that's okay. But I don't know, certain logos I don't really like and he's not into logos at all. So I thought this would be nice. It's just like this little pop of Prada Red. And the last thing from Prada is their Paradox perfume. So I received the perfume and then they have a refill as well. So you can refill the bottle with the refill bottle. So here's the refill bottle and here is the perfume. The perfume has a lovely fresh floral warm scent. And I particularly love the packaging of this perfume bottle. The intricate triangle design is very unique. Next thing is a pink velvet headband from La Fleur Randall. Ever since having these sort of long curtain bangs, which I can't see as well right now, uh, ever since having those when I'm around my house, I'm doing things that I want my hair just sort of out of my face. I'm someone that does not like my hair in my face if I'm just like at home trying to get things done around the house. So I like to wear headbands ever since having those sort of long curtain bangs. And I have the one I'm using at the moment, which is one I purchased in Capri, Italy that I obviously can't purchase again unless I'm in Capri, Italy. So I wanted to have another one that I could sort of alternate between the two. And obviously this is intended to be worn with an outfit, to be worn outdoors. I personally plan to use this just for around the house. I don't really like how I look with headbands, hence only wearing it with the, in, within my house. But um, so yeah, there's this, and you could obviously wear this the way it's intended to be worn, uh, you know, with an outfit or something. You could also wear it, like for me personally, I don't like my 
to wear it the typical way unless I'm just at home. So you could also wear it this way as well. Next thing is this bandeau lemonade thin scarf from Givenchy. So it's all this sort of like neon bright yellow and then it just says Givenchy and I believe it's in red. Yes, in red. Um, sorry, it's like flimsing around. Um, so if you guys saw my TikTok, I'll put it on the screen if you had missed that or you just don't look at TikTok or something. I know I have older people on YouTube as opposed to TikTok. Um, I had worn the scarf. It was an uh, Hermes Twilly scarf in my hair with a braid and I really love that look and I don't really have too many Twilly scarves so I wanted to just purchase another one and I thought the neon yellow would be really pretty with a tan in the summertime uh, to wear in your hair with the braid. That's how I intend to wear this um, but I really like just in general the versatile I love versatile pieces, anything that makes me feel like it's a two for one. So like the idol jewelry pieces, I like it for like fashion in the sense of um, I had a maxi dress from, it was the one from the Gap campaign that I did for TikTok where it has like the spaghetti straps and it's long black maxi. And then I wore it as a skirt with a sweater over it and everyone thought, um, I posted on my Instagram story, I'll have it here. Everyone thought it was a skirt, but it's actually the same dress worn two different ways. So I love things that can be like a two for one, something that sort of just makes you feel like the piece it's a better investment, a better deal. So there's a variety of different ways that you can wear twill scarves. So that was my reason for purchasing this. Um, I just specifically like the braided look, but you can wear this as like a choker necklace, uh, a bracelet, uh, as a, like over a top handle handbag, or like my grandma likes to wear these. Like uh, I'll include a picture of her wearing it the way she prefers to wear them. Um, so there's just like some examples of ways that you can wear these and they're pretty inexpensive, especially when you're able to create all these different looks and uh, ways in using them. So. That was my reason for purchasing this and I just thought the neon color would be beautiful with like a tan during the summertime and a braid. Next, I received three clothing pieces from Paige, the brand like Paige, Paige Denim. Um, if you guys have heard of it, it's very similar to like Rag and Bone. It's very high quality at a more affordable price point. So I believe each of these three pieces, I think the white sweater is around like 180, the blue sweater around like 230 or something, and then the jeans are a little over 200, something like that. So they're pretty reasonably priced, um, more affordable price point. The first thing is this blue sweater. I believe it's a mixture of like a wool and um, another material, but it's I think like 60% wool. So it's majority like pretty good quality. And the two sweaters, the next sweater and this one are in a size small and the denim are in a size 26. And the other sweater is this white one. I really like these sort of little poplin uh, at the ends of the sleeves. They're like three quarter length sleeves and this feels very soft and nice quality as well, also in a small. Next thing are these like faded, I think they're their high rise Noella um, or Noelia, yeah, something like that, um, denim jeans. So I also really like how the pocket has this sort of like black. Hopefully you can see it on camera. If not, I have a TikTok video of me wearing these where it shows that better up on the screen. And they're also very comfortable, which is really difficult for me personally to find with jeans. I just hate wearing jeans. I've always disliked wearing jeans because they're so uncomfortable, um, especially in like this area. So um, I don't typically gravitate towards jeans, uh, jean shorts, jeans, you know, like these. Anything denim, I don't typically gravitate towards just because of the discomfort aspect, but these are very comfortable. Probably the most comfortable pair of jeans I've ever worn. They don't feel like your typical pair of jeans where it just feels all tight and uncomfortable and you just like the hard material. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I just don't typically gravitate towards jeans, but these ones are really, really comfortable. So I highly recommend these and they fit really well. Last thing I'm going to share in this haul are some things from Nest Fragrances. So I believe I've hauled like diffusers from Nest Fragrances before. Those I had purchased, these I received in PR, which I'm really excited about. I always get really excited when I receive PR from brands I already purchased from. Um, so there's three candles, a diffuser, a perfume oil, and then a perfume. So the first thing is this larger grapefruit candle. So this one is the grapefruit scented candle. I love the scent of this one. It has three wicks and it's obviously a larger size candle. And then these two medium sized candle. This one is in bamboo and this one is in Moroccan amber. So if you're someone that likes a very like fruity fresh scent, I would opt for the grapefruit scent. And if you're someone that just wants a very like fresh, not so fruity scent, I would opt for the bamboo. And if you want something more like subtle, uh, similar to kind of like the roses by Deptique, I would recommend the Moroccan amber. Next is this perfume in wild poppy and this perfume oil in Madagascar. Vanilla. I have a bunch of new beauty favorites from skincare products. I have a ton of new skincare favorites, uh, makeup favorites, and like home fragrance sort of department of favorites that I will be sharing in my January beauty favorites video. So if you want an update on these, I'll be sharing that in that video. And the last thing from Nest Fragrances is this diffuser in Ocean Mist and Sea Salt. So that's it for this lecture. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will have links to everything, including all of the idol jewelry pieces in the description box down below. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next luxury haul. Bye guys.